Welcome to Echo Base Live, the largest Star Wars toy fair in the country where you can buy back your childhood memories. This might look like an ordinary shopping center, but today it's become the hive of scum and villainy from across the known galaxy. Even Boba Fett's here. <laughs> What was the first figure you got? That was an Ewok. Stormtrooper. Boba Fett. I got a Gamorrean guard. My brother got an Ewok. He wasn't happy with his Ewok. Tide Fighter pilot. Yeah, I remember ripping open packet, weapon flying everywhere. Gone. Wasn't bothered as a kid. Who can command the Millennium Falcon? In 1977, when Star Wars burst onto the big screen, it helped send film merchandising into hyperspace. Who can bring victory to the rebels? You can with Star Wars toys. Figures that once sold for a pound or two can now reach prices that seem out of this world. I never thought I would ever get my hands on something like this. And the rarer the figure, the greater the value. Like this holy grail of Star Wars collecting. Prototype Boba Fett, there's probably 120 of these in the world. They didn't release to the public because there was a choking hazard. We really estimate that's anywhere between 100 and 150,000 pounds. For a piece of plastic? For a little bit of plastic, yeah. You have something I had as a child. In fact, I still have it. This. Figures in original packaging command the highest prices. Why do they go for so much? Scarceness of them. Who thought to keep things on a card 40 years ago? How big's your personal collection? About 600 original figures package. Did you have to build an extension? Yes. <laughs> you built an extension? Yeah, yeah. It, it cost me a brand new kitchen for a while. But this is as much about memories as it is about the toys. I model myself on Chewbacca. Takes me back to simpler times. Sat cross-legged on the carpet, watching a VHS of Empire Strikes Back. Me and my brother loved it. It was the only thing we really connected with. For a summer, me and my friends were just on Tatooine with all of our little jowers. An amazing, idyllic childhood. Oh, and there's no end to what you can buy. I've seen a couple of ice cream wrappers, some yogurt pots, Darth Vader toilet paper. Yeah, I, I'd use it. This event is about more than just the memorabilia. Hello, right, right. One big family, really. It's what gives it the sense of community as well. It's not just an event, it's a whole way of life for people. <laughs> the Canadian speeder bike. Anna, an American version, and then British version. That's a little bit more difficult to get hold of. Don't you just need one? No, that one's got a flap. That one hasn't got a flap. That one's in French. <laughs> They're all different. How much did you just spend? Cheap, actually, for the two, three, seven, five. A rebel transporter. Uh, it's a box only. I only paid a fiver. Ninety pound. Was it worth every penny of it? Well, I wouldn't have bought it otherwise. <laughs> You've already got two. Uh, well, now I've got three. Wherever I go, he goes. Disney now owns Star Wars, and it's been pumping out new series and toys, pulling in a new generation of fans, the collectors of the future. Everyone here is on the hunt for a bargain. A packet of biscuits, dungeon 50 pounds. 1983, would I recommend to eat them? It's not just about the figures, it's not just about the vehicles, it's literally about everything, merchandise to do with the movie. What are you looking at? Sure for a stormtrooper. Yes. Have you met Darth Vader? Yes. What was he like when you met him? He was very kind because said I am a stormtrooper and I went on his team. Now the children who grew up with figures are introducing their own kids to them. I love the fact that now I can share it with my children and the next generation. We need a couple of beaters, which is old figures that the children are allowed to play with because they all want to play with my figures otherwise. It's not just Star Wars that people cover. Think of the family container. So what should you be collecting now? Pokemon, absolutely crazy at the moment. Ben 10, Jurassic Park, it's just got a massive following. The prices of figures on sale here show the pulling power of nostalgia remains as strong as ever. <coughs> There's only one way you can end a piece like this. Right. Hey, 